My name is Michael Poza. I'm an assistant professor in mechanical engineering and a member of the GRASP lab. DARE stands for the Dynamic Autonomy and Intelligent Robotics Lab. We wanted a name that really captured our desire to enable robots to move at human-like speeds. This came out at a time when a lot of robots really moved pretty slowly, where you might get bored watching them. And so the name sort of is combining these two concepts. One, we want robots to move quickly, dynamically, and also to move with intelligence and autonomy. My research group really focuses on interaction. Uh, we want to enable robots to interact with the world more capably, more quickly. In particular, that's led to a, a dual focus on both legged locomotion as robots walk and run and jump in the world, as well as manipulation. One of the core algorithmic questions there is how do you enable robots to make and break contact with the environment intelligently? The robots essentially have to decide what they're going to touch, where they're going to touch it, when they're going to touch it. And the combinatorics of these decisions grow as the problem scale increases. Uh, if you think about a robot interacting with a pile of clutter, for example, physics, the dynamics of that interaction get extremely complicated. All the, all the objects can touch one another, and the robot can choose what it touches first. The most exciting ideas we've had in recent years really focus on these, these questions of the, the hybrid or multimodal or, or discontinuous nature of this interaction. And I think that's where leveraging the, the physics, leveraging the dynamics can be so powerful. Since I founded the lab about seven years ago, I think we've made really a tremendous amount of progress in uh, what I would call low-level learning and control. Uh, so how to collect minimum amounts of data, how to build accurate models from that data, and then how to use those models for dexterous manipulation. We need to really find a way to tackle problems that don't center on interaction with maybe one or two objects, but really look at the full scope or full scale of your kitchen or your workplace. And, and to do so, I think DARE is going to have to start thinking what I would call up the hierarchy. So how do we integrate more planning and more estimation and longer term reasoning in combination with lower level control? And I think that really is going to drive you know, the next generation of questions that we're going to have to address. Thank you.